What's up my YouTubers? It's Jennifer and I'm coming at you with a sort of shopping haul. So um, I apologize for the lighting. Um, I'm sitting on my floor right excuse me my floor right now because I have a lot of products and Diego is on my bed. Say hello Diego. Yes there he is. My lovely doggy. And um, I was opening all the products um, and I threw them all on my bed and then it disturbed him. So I'm sitting on my floor and he's on my bed. Anyways, that should be like my thumbnail. Anyway, so I'm wearing my merch shirt from, oh my gosh, Omar Gosh, Omar Gosh, I think Omar Gosh. Now I can't remember his name, oh my goodness. Anyways, so this shirt um, is from my last video. If you haven't seen that one, check that one out. Um, he's a YouTuber, he does uh, Abandoned, he does Haunted stuff, um, which is kind of like my theme. And then I'm also wearing my um, shorts um, from Greater Good, the Greater Good store, um, which is a charity type of store. Uh, if you buy anything from them, I think some of the proceedings go to like help animals. So if you buy like something that's an elephant theme, I think, I think, don't quote me on this because I haven't checked out all their products. I just mostly stuck to the dog stuff at the moment but um I think if you buy like anything like an elephant theme thing then it goes to help elephants in like Africa or other parts of the world um I know they did the greater good store did I think I, I know I have it in my in my the link in my last video so if you guys um, even want to just check that out you guys can but um I know they did a lot of charity things for the Australian fire that happened so anyways we're gonna dive right into it so um, I went a little crazy at Dollar Tree. I haven't been to Dollar Tree in like forever and each Dollar Tree has different items. I stuck with only one Dollar Tree because I wasn't going to go to the four or five Dollar Trees in my area. Um, basically, if you're familiar with Wilmington, North Carolina, I went to the Dollar Tree um, by Walmart in Monkey Junction. There's also one off of Shipyard Boulevard right there by Roses. There's also one by Big Lots on and Harris Teeter. And then there's also one, I think, by Best Buy. I don't know if that one's still there or not. But the one by Best Buy, which is across town from me, usually, like, almost never has anything. But, and then I went to Walmart, and then I bought things off of Wish. And the big ticket item is going to be my last item. I bought another merch item from another YouTuber that I follow. And I will get into that later, because I'm going to massively shout out to that person and his channel. Yes, it's a him, so I kind of gave it away. But anyway, so we're going to dive right into it. So we're going to start with um, my biggest, biggest item, which well, I'll show you a little teaser here. So you guys can see this I got at Walmart. It is, if I can spin this around here. <laughs> Look at you, I got like, oh, oh, stay. stay. Well, this is my big ticket. Well, not my big ticket item. That. Oh, yes. It is a taco chair. <gasps> Oh, he just spilled my, he almost just spilled my drink. Anyways, so that is a taco chair. That was an impulse buy. It was $10 at Walmart, which most beach chairs are about $10. So I decided, you know what? I'm going to just buy one. And it's hilarious because one, it's tacos. It has hot sauce and avocados and lime on it. I thought it was so funny because I work at Flaming Nimi Burrito Barn in Carolina Beach. So if you guys want to come stalk me, that's where I work. I'm there five or five to six days a week. And we have awesome food. I love working there. Best place. Anyways, so that's from Walmart. That's you. I have all spots, some other things, but I'm not going to show the boring stuff. Like I got you know, a birthday card for my nephew because um, he's turning three next week on the 21st. Um, so anyways, we're going to dive into the Dollar Tree items. So I got two sets of lights. I got, um, oh, by the way, Dollar Tree is now coming up with their Halloween and fall items that's why I bought these lights so one are pumpkins um I don't know if you guys can see this. that's pumpkins and then I got owls which I don't know there we go if you guys can see that and then that one's an owl ah there you go um I did find out that they pop off really easily which they can pop back on and they do take two AA batteries and I already put them in there and they are super bright so, yeah, um, they're three feet long, which is kind of long for them. I have no idea what I'm going to do with them yet, but that's 
part one of my Dollar Tree haul. And I'm taking out the batteries because I have another light thing to show you guys. Okay. Next item I got from Dollar Tree, or next two items, I got these two signs. Um, this one I'm going to keep. This one I'm going to give to my sister. And, I mean, I just, like, I, I, you know, it's funny when I buy these things because I'm like, dude, I'm like a hoarder for, like, signs and stuff. I'm going to have, like, one of those houses when I grow up that's going to have, like, like, the whole house is going to be covered. Like, I won't even have to have paint or wallpaper. Um, then I got bandanas because you can never have enough bandanas. Um, I got, um, what are these called? Fur flip-flops. I have slippers, but I thought these would be easier, um, because my slippers don't have the, this part. They do, but it's more of a, like, you know, this part on the back. So, wearing them outside if it's wet and dewy, which in Wilmington, it's usually raining. So, I thought these would be great to take Diego outside. Plus, if I'm just standing on my porch. Um. Then I got two sets of sunflowers, and I thought I could put these on Cora's Corner when it stops being um, hurricane season or trying to be hurricane season. Uh, this time, because if you guys know, I'm a huge football fan. Um, Packers and Eagles are my two top teams, and even though football's kind of like not really a thing right now, sorry, he's like playing with one of my items. Um, even though football's really not really a thing right now, I still, you know, had to have that. Oh, by the way, I think I said I'm giving this one to my sister. I might have said that. I'm not sure. But, yeah. Anyways. Okay, this item I've been stocking at Dollar Tree for, like, forever. Um, they've probably had this mat for, I don't know, two years. And I've never bought it because I never really wanted to. Because I was like, oh, I'll just buy it when I buy a house. I'll buy it when I buy a house. Well, I was like, you know what? I'm buying it now. Because I don't know. I mean... If you guys have not watched that video either, my um, daughter's my daughter's case is closed. We're just waiting for everything to be final, finally, finally, um, I guess, sign the paperwork and be done, done. Um, but the case, so I guess the case isn't really closed. Anyways, um, then I got a bunch of beauty products. So if you're a guy and you watch me at all, and you want to find out, it, you know, guys, you know, kind of can use this stuff too. Well, first we'll start with the girly stuff. And unless you, you know, you're a guy and you like to paint your nails. So I got this really pretty, it's like a purple gray, which you probably cannot see. Yeah. I'm not going to paint my nail to show you guys right now. And then I got hot pink. Um, I got one of those makeup brush thingies that um, sticks, I guess. Like I said, I'm not a makeup person, but when I rarely do wear makeup, I kind of needed one of these. Um, and I'm assuming that you stick this to the inside of your sink and then you run the water and you kind of wash your brushes. I mean, there's a thousand YouTube tutorials, tutorials about that, so I can always find that out. And if anybody is cringing because I bought a makeup brush thingy from Dollar Tree, well, my makeup brushes are from Wish, so yeah. Like I said, I don't wear makeup that often, but I will say the one of my sets that I bought off of Wish is better than the other ones. But anyways, then I got three different types of face masks, and this is where I say, you know, guys can wear to use these products too. Um, the charcoal one, the clay one, and the cucumber one. Now, the charcoal one I have used, I thought it was going to be like a mask. It's more like a gel, So, but it makes my face feel super, super, like, super soft after I use it. It's so awesome. And I like it because it comes with the little spreader thing. But yeah, for Dollar Tree, this is a really good product. And my face does not break out after using that. The cucumber one, I'm assuming, is like aloe. Um, so, but the clay one, I'm really curious about to see if it's actually a mask and not just a gel. It could be just a clay gel. It says mask, but we will find out. Because um, like I said, this one's, or not that one. Um, this one says it's a mask too. No, it's more of a gel. And I thought it was like a gel that's going to like, you know, some gels actually harden and then you can kind of peel them off. Yeah, that doesn't do that. Um, then I got um, a couple different cleansers. I bought two of these charcoal ones and then I got these two. Because um, like I said, I work in a kitchen where I sweat a lot. Even though I wash my face like every single night after I get home from work, you you can never have enough face products. Um and when I was in junior high and high school, my face was, like, really weird. Like, most probably kids' faces are. Um, or they would break out probably a lot. So, I'm hoping that 
if I use any of these that my face will be okay with them. My face breaks out kind of still a little bit, but that's mostly because there are some days where I come home and I'm just way too tired to even care about my face. So like I have like a little bit here. Um, and then I bought the charcoal facial wipes. Now I have used these before. They're definitely a dollar tree. Like you, you could tell the difference between a good like three to four dollar ones versus the dollar tree ones. These are a little bit thinner. They do actually do work. Um, they definitely work. Um, they're just thinner than the better actual products. Then, um, I love this brand of soap and I bought two different ones. I have not, I haven't used this one yet. I have used this one. Um, but I love this brand of soap. It just, it's like so gentle on my skin and I know you're not supposed to use soap on your face. That's why I bought the facial stuff. But yes, I, if I do use soap on my face, I use these because they're super gentle on my skin personally. Plus, I know you're also not supposed to use soap to shave your legs or any other area of your body, but I do because um, it foams up. And like I said, these soaps actually do not make my legs chaff, chafe, dry. They don't dry out my skin, I guess is what I'm saying. Okay, so that's everything. Um, oh yeah, not everything. Um, and then the last products from Dollar Tree are these pillows. So I got my nephew one and then I got my nieces one. And you know, they're the ones that, you know, do this. That was, yeah. Um, I was gonna get just my nephew one. And I know you're thinking, well, it, he's a boy, you know, he's, you know, but he has two sisters who are eight and nine, he's gonna be three. So, and he likes to play with, um, you know, every kid, I mean, it's shiny, it's glittery. I mean, he's fine. Now we're gonna dive into the wish items. Um, so I also bought lights and I think I might have bought these before. I cannot remember. So in one of my videos, I might've already said the price if it's still the same one, but they are flamingos. Um, they're little flamingos. And these were, um, if I previously bought these, I think these were like free with like $4 shipping. So I would not pay $4 for these if I paid $4 for these because I can buy them for a dollar, a dollar tree, and they're the exact same thing. Although these ones feel like they won't break as easily, if that makes sense. Like they're harder plastic and they're more in there as opposed to these backs, which, you know. But yeah, these are also super bright. I mean, these are also like really, really super bright if you guys could see. I mean, ooh, you know what? I just realized if my phone ever dies, I can just carry these around and use these as a flashlight. Don't ask. All right, so then I got um, this product here, which I will find if I can find you here. You, okay. So this um, item here, it's one of those like hook thingies. Um, it did come with the plastic sticky back thing that I threw somewhere. I have no idea where I threw it, but um, it's really, if you guys can hear this, like well-made plastic. I mean, and the thing is, like, you can literally do this. And I've done this a couple times just testing it um, to see if they, like, move. They actually are kind of hard to move, which is kind of nice. You want that in a product. And from a Wish product, that's pretty good. So, um, like I said, I don't know if the sticky thing um, will actually hold this up when I put anything on it. I'll probably... Yeah, I probably loosened it a little, but that's okay. Um... If, if the sticky thing doesn't hold this up by itself or if I put something on it, I can always buy sticky things. And, um, yeah. And then we'll see how these hold whatever I want to hold. Towels, keys, whatever. And this, that was called Creative Hook Kitchen Wall Hang Without Nail Door Hang Coat Hanger. $1, $2 shipping, so I paid $3 for that. Next item is this washcloth which is super 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 soft i mean this is like one of those um microfiber it feels like one of those blankets that you get that like you just want to curl up with hot chocolate yeah it feels like that material and this one was where are you you were right here this is called a thickened absorbent dishcloth household kitchen cleaning towel rag $1.93 with two dollars shipping so $3.93 for this and I think I also bought this not only because I need more washcloths because mine are packed away, but as a face, like, you know when you dry your face after washing it, it's to pat your face? 
You're not supposed to rub. I always rub. Bad, bad me. Do not rub your face. I always do. But anyways, um, pat, pat dry your face. Um, then these, if I can find you. So I got the five pack. It is a five piece colorful striped square towel cloth house kitchen towel rag. $2, $2 shipping. So $4 for microfiber um, cleansing, you know, rags. And this is what they all do. These are the 30 by 50s. Um, and I, again, I got these just to have extra because you can never have enough rags to dry or wash things. And I think I also got these. Don't, I don't, I think when I bought these, I was thinking I can dry Diego with them. I don't know. I, I just think I saw them and they were pretty. And then, um, the other item I got, um, going with that theme, is a one-piece bare embossed microfiber quick drying bath towel shoulder, etc., etc. It was free with three dollars shipping, so I paid three dollars for this item. And I was thinking that when it's a bath towel, I was thinking it's going to be like you know this size, like a washcloth size, because it is wish, you know. No, it's actually like you know a towel. Um, it's more like a baby infant towel, but that's okay. I mean. I should have, it probably was in the baby stuff, but if you guys could see it at all, you probably can't. I apologize. I'm trying to get really close. It has little tiny bears and hearts on it. If you can't see it, I apologize. Um, but also, I think um, I also bought this because I don't like using towels to dry my hair. It's very harsh to put your hair up in towels because it like sucks all the, I don't know. I mean, my hair is pretty much fried anyways from how much I've dyed and done other things to it. But um, usually I use a t-shirt. Um, they say you take a t-shirt because it's gentler on your hair. But I was hoping that this, since it's microfiber, would be gentler. And those little hair twisty things that are made for your hair are that material. So anyways, then I got one of those doggy hair thingies. Um, and it's so funny. So the very first night that I got this, which was two nights ago, I took it on to Diego. Yes, I brushed my dog with this just to see, you know, how much dog hair it took up. And it actually took a lot off of him. And one, yes, I'm crazy. So if you're cringing while watching this video that I'm brushing my dog with a hair um, magnet thing, well, that's me. I'm crazy like that. But I bought this because I have um, one t-shirt and one pair of shorts. I don't know what the fabric is. Um, I have no idea where I got the t-shirt from, but the shorts I think I got from Walmart. Go figure, right? And you can use like a five billion dryer sheets and dryer balls and everything else. And everything just sticks to these shorts. So I'm hoping that this will help ease it a little bit. Um, all right. So the last two items I got from Wish, one of them was... Let's see. Um, one of them was 2020 hot new women's fashion print yoga without elastic hairband. Um, it says it was blue, but it's, I don't know where they get blue in this one. Actually, I well, I ordered, it says blue, so I'm assuming it's this one. Well, they're, they're two of the same thing. So one of them was free with 376 shipping. And this is the pattern on one of them. And then this is the pattern on the other one. And um, I got this one because where I work, it has a lot of skulls and stuff. It kind of reminds me of that movie Coco, um, which I still, I don't think have seen. But so one of them was 376 because it was free shipping and the other one was free with $3 shipping. So there's a 76 um, cents difference between them. So, but anyway, so this is, what's cool about these, I also thought because um, I can wear them as a scarf or can wear them as a COVID mask, which is really cool. But I mean, they're supposed to be, you know, like, so this is what it looks like on. I mean, you know, I work in a restaurant, so I thought that would be really perfect to, you know, ha not have my stragglies. And since they're workout bands, that I was hoping that, that the um, sweat, like I could pull it down like this, kind of like a hat and, um, Hopefully the sweat won't like pool and then drip, which I know is TMI probably for some of you guys. But when you work in a kitchen, you do sweat. And you can only wear so many bandanas before like right here starts to sweat. And I'm hoping that um, 
I don't get too hot wearing them because they are, oh, by the way, this is from Wish. But um, yeah, I'm hoping that material doesn't make my head sweat more um, because of the material. And then uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else before I show you the biggest item in the entire world. Okay, so the very last item that I got, and I'm going to find it here. Um, where are you? You were in here. Okay, so I follow the YouTuber CJ Faison. Um, I will link his YouTube page and his merch page below. And he is awesome. Like I said, I follow a lot of like haunted, abandoned people who do a lot of exploring type things, and he's one of them. And he's out of Delaware. Um, he actually owns a haunted building and a haunted farm. And um, so any product that you order from him, he actually signs. So this is his signature, which I was super stoked out. So shout out to you, CJ Faison. Um, I'm super excited. Um, obviously, I wear my merch. Um, so I cannot wait to wear your short, sh short shirt out and about. But so basically, I got the, the um, Honeycut Farm shirt. And if you guys do not know anything about Honeycut Farm, it's supposed to be this extremely beyond haunted, um, demonic farm. Um, you can check out his channel on all that information or just Google Honeycut Farm. Um, that's what struck me about, um, that's why I like this shirt because it's really cool. Uh, well, that and I just like it. But I paid, the shirt was, it was a medium, or it is a medium. It, it wasn't was, but it is a medium. $29.99, $6.80 shipping, so it's $36.79 total. Um, like I said, he is out of Delaware. It's called Motivated Eyewear. He also does sunglasses and everything else. So yeah, I'm super stoked for that. That was my big ticket item. That was, that's why I wanted to make this video. Not why, but okay. I'm rambling here now. Okay, you guys, shout out to CJ Faison. Thank you so much. And thank you to all of my other people that I bought merch from, like this person. Um, oh my God, I feel so bad that I'm supporting you and I cannot remember who I bought this from. But anyways, I will be buying merch from other subscri um, subscribers, people that I follow. Um, I just haven't found the right item that I wanna buy yet from some of them and some of them that I try to find, they sell out really fast in my size. So anyways, if you guys like this video, hit that like below, comment on anything. Um, if you guys want me to do, I say this in all my videos, if you guys want me to try out all three of these products and give a review, I am long, long, long overdue on some of my Wish Haul products, by the way. So I definitely have to do that. I'm trying to wait till this weird season um, kind of slows down to make more videos. So when I do, I will say hit that bell notification because then when I start posting regularly again and get on a schedule, you guys will get notified. If I ramble, like I always do, comment below. <laughs> and, you know, check out um, your favorite other YouTubers. If I'm introducing you guys to some new um, YouTubers out there who, you know, and you like them, hit, you know, check them out, please, and support them. You know, um, especially some of the people who do like the missing children or missing people in general, because um, their cases need to be, you know, out there too. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching, sticking to the end. And again, shout out to CJ Faison, and I will catch you guys next time. Stay awesome. Bye.